We've got our work cut out for us this week. With Christmas Day fast approaching and with the promise of a succulent seafood spread for our family, we're amping up the stakes and pulling all the ropes, no pun intended, to meet the expectations we've talked up. We might be in for a shock though, with some of the things we thought we'd catch. Not a single bloody cray. Ah. And some things we did not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <man. laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna lose my shark. <laughs> Nonetheless, we've got cracking views whilst doing it, and absolutely zero complaints here. We even get a bit of time to visit one of the world's most renowned natural landmarks. Morning! We're about to throw this pot in the water. It's a little bit cold, but bloody hell, that sunrise over there is nice. I um, don't have a trailer, so I'm a little bit skeptical about how I'm gonna get this in the water, but I'll make it work. I'm gonna let the tires down because I'm gonna get bogged otherwise. It's very, very soft. So I've left my deflator at home. Oops, I'm just gonna take the pin out. There's a bit of a technique to it. You gotta sort of like put the screwdriver in and as you're letting it out, you gotta really pinch down, otherwise you'll lose your pin in the sand. I don't know what pressure I'm at, but let's just call it low. I don't want to be getting stuck down near the waves. Because out here, who am I going to call? My wife to come get me out? <laughs> Let's see how quick I can be here. Righto, we're off. Let's get this bloody pot in the water. It looks dirty. Hopefully I can get in and grab some craze as well. Look at this, what a morning. Well, the best thing about our travels is I'm literally doing something new every bloody day. And if I don't catch a crayfish, at least one crayfish, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. I'm gonna be very upset. But there's lots of other pots in the water. Fingers crossed. I'll leave it here for a night or two and come back. Weather's meant to be good, so it should be easy to get to. I'm gonna go have a look for a dive, uh, for a dive site, but the water looks so dirty, so, so dirty. And I'm by myself, so I don't feel like getting in dirty, yucky water today and getting eaten by a shark. I'll see. Hopefully it clears up out here. I just put my head in the water for like the fifth time this morning and it's black. I can't see the length of my gun in front of me, so I shan't be getting in the water, which is disappointing. I guess I'm just, uh, I'm down to my cray pot. My cray pot's going to have to come through. Uh, the kids and I have had just a nice relaxing morning this morning. Just chilled out, had some brekkie. Dad should be back soon for putting the cray pot in. So hopefully that all went to plan. Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna have some greys. But let me just see, cause I think he should be coming home fairly soon. Let's have a look. The boys are eagerly out here waiting for him. Where's dad been? Where's dad been? Ellis, where's daddy been? Hey Ellis, guess what? I'm on my way home. I've put the cray pot in the water, so we're gonna catch some crays. Oh, and what then about that? We're going to take mum and Wilder for a prize today. 
say something called fuck me and say Roger. Roger. Can you see me coming around the corner? <gasps> He's coming. He's just learning how to use that two way, by the way. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna get him, Mom. Yeah, you go get him. <laughs> he waddles up, he's like, <laughs> he's so cute. You can talk to him on the two way now. Ooh. Who's that baby? Stop baby right now. <laughs> there he is. All right, let's go. All right. Let's go, all in. Come on, Evie. Cray pot's in the water. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be excited tomorrow. I reckon we might catch up here. I got a, I got a good feeling. Boy, get the kids in the car or in yep. the truck. I got a surprise for you. Yay. As usual. Oh. Mum has no idea where we're going. I think I know. You know. You're taking me to the strip club. Strip club, apparently. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's way cooler. So I put the cray pot in a good spot. I reckon uh, I'm quietly confident. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I got some good advice off some good people, so fingers crossed. It's lunch! Me! Me! I'm so hungry. I'm gonna smash in the head with this, look out. Mm. No! No! I'll get out of my way. What is for lunch, Dad? Ham cheese jaffles. Oh yeah! Cheese. Ham. You have scissors out here? Doomsday prepping? Sure do. I've got these ones. Those ridiculously sharp ones that I stole Grab from work. Grab those from those people at home. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Zip. They, to me, look like you should be doing your gardening. Tell me they're not sharp. They're sharp. They're so sharp, eh? They're so dangerous. Reminds me of Mr. Mr. Maker. Be careful because scissors are sharp. But be careful because scissors are sharp. Why do they make these hams always so hard to open? Yeah, you can actually, but it might take me a while to get this ham open. For those that aren't initiated, it's Buffhead and Pipsqueak from now on. I think the, uh, the names suit them. Very fitting. Yeah, because Ellis is a giant Buffhead and Wilder is the most unco, beautiful, soft, loving Pipsqueak you've ever seen in your life. It's just... With um, a hell of a lot of attitude. With a hell of a lot of attitude, yeah. With that wild streak in it. Wilder. From the name. Wilder. Here you go. Just one piece for now. Yours is up there, Evie. You can have some of that. Thank you, Mum. Nice you help. Hey. Thank you, Daddy. No, thank you, Mum. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. That's right. I know. Thank I know. you, Mum. Tell you what, oh, Kylie, you can confirm this. Never underestimate the power of a jaffle, especially while you're traveling. Uh. Superstar move, jaffles. Superstar move. So, I haven't even told you where we are yet. Basically, we're at the Pinnacle Desert. What this is, is sand with rocks in it that protrude out of it. <laughs> and, I've ex so and I've explained this in a really, really appealing way. But it's a national attraction. So we're gonna go have a look and I'm sure it's a lot better than I just made out. And we'll bring you along. Ready, set, go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Wilder runs like Captain Jack Sparrow. I don't think he does. I haven't seen how Captain Jack Sparrow runs, but I'm presuming it's something funny. Go, Mama, go! Wait for me, Dad. A little bit slow up the rear. <laughs> you, have decreasing, you have increasingly got decreasingly fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm 30 weeks now. You're 30 weeks? Uh-huh. Holy snap and duck. Where did that time go? 
I've got questions. I've always got so many questions. How? Why? How? <laughs> Who? Who? Giants? Hey! Hey! Where is he? There he is. <laughs> They're hiding from us, Dad. He was like, shh, shh. <laughs> Hello in there. Hello. Hello in there. It's pretty bloody warm today, isn't it? It's very, very nice. Are you boys ready? No, I'll show you. Ready? Watch this. Ready? I'll show you. Well, I don't watch. Tip your head. Ha <laughs> Uh oh. Run <laughs> Go. Oh, run. Ah. It is tiring carrying another human. <laughs> How epic is this place? It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it, and I say that every week. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look how far it goes. Looks like. Goes right up over the hill. Looks like a huge cemetery. Yeah. It's also very windy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 She's a tad windy, so hopefully you can hear us. But I'm yet. The wind picked up as soon as I started talking. I think they'll be out of here. I'm yet to find a sign that explains any of this madness. So, when we do find something, for the first time ever, we'll put a little bit of information up here. We might be able to find something in that shop, like the little museum part in front of the shop. Mm. Have to be because I can't explain the copious amount of sand and the copious amount of pointy rocks. I just can't do yeah, it. So. And the colour of the sand. Yeah, it's, it's like... A, it's not a beach colour. It's goldy. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. You wouldn't understand it unless you touched it or you were here. Especially around this area, it's all white sand everywhere here. Everywhere we've been here. The wild is over the wind. I think we need to get out of this wind. Yeah. You want to go back to the truck? Yeah. Do you want to drive around it in the truck? Yeah. Okay. It's a water. It's a water. You want a water. That rock's talking. What? <laughs> it's screaming. The rock's screaming, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rock, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, Mr. Rock, Mr. Rock, what's your name? Did he, he went. Mr. Rock, what's your name? <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. No, I think that rock doesn't want us to see him. Ellis, Ellis, come here and say peekaboo. Oh, there he is. Dad, 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 dad. Kids have so much energy. They <laughs> just jump on the car every step. Puts your workout this morning to shame, Dad. Dad, dad, 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 <laughs> it's, I swear it was just a jaffle that we came Let's go get some water. This right kid, up. I think this kid We've got one crazy right. kid and one whingy kid at the moment. Welcome to travel. He's been alright except for now that he's realised he needs water desperately. It's been 15 minutes. Getting out of the wind and hydrating the kids. We've proceeded to take our truck around the track of the Pinnacles and get a look at just how vast this landscape was. 
headed home for a quiet evening, and then Dad was up bright and early for his fishing adventure. So it's 4 a.m. What the hell? And it's the day that six months of the year over here in the WA, there's a fishing ban on on enough certain fish or all fish. I'm not quite sure where I work. They've only sort of just got to this area. So I think the WA is split into like three different sections. And one of the sections, there's a fishing ban for six months of the year. And today it lifts. So we're down at the boat ramp and it's packed, <laughs> absolutely packed. And uh, a couple of mates of mine who uh, crayfish for a living, literally are out crayfishing every day or have done for a long time, They're taking me out fishing. <laughs> and the photos they've been sending me all week, oh, <laughs> they're off their head. The size of the fish that they're pulling in, have been pulling in, off its head. I'm so excited, I'm making my tea, I'm getting out there. And ooh, doggy, I'm going to have some bloody fun. Might pull in some crays, might pull in some jewies, might pull in some pinkies. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. All right, let's get it. Those Chewy's putting us on to all these uh, secret spots, would you call them? Well, they're not yeah. so secret anymore. Well, they used to be secrets, but not anymore. After getting the sh kicked out of us for the last <laughs> hour and a half, we've decided to come inside the reef, and Wilbur assures me he's going to catch something this time. He's made promises. Promises I don't think he can keep. One way to find out, this is better. I don't feel like I'm on a trampoline. Well, that's the first bite I've had all morning. <laughs> so for nearly biting the turf about five times out there. Oh, it's a flatty! Oh, 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 flatty! Hey. <laughs> oh, breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're kidding. Woo! Oh, well. I thought I told you to drift over the fish. <laughs> Do you remember me telling him that? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. I thought that was English. Are you on again? Yeah. Little pinky. <laughs> Little baby cub. Boys on! Baby! Yay! Yeah. 21! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Fish. Oh, 
So, so far we've caught some shooting cuddlies. No victuies like I've been promised, and that's got nothing to do with the fact that I let one go. Uh, she felt heavy. Oh well, what do you do? Mostly, it's Kane's fault. I can't be held accountable for losing fish. Oh. All right, we're going to a spot that the name of it sort of makes me feel like I'm gonna catch something. It's called Spot X, and then they've got another spot south of Spot X called South Spot X. <laughs> They're super creative this much. Geniuses. Oh, you just got bites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were on. <laughs> you drop it again. Oh, pinky. Fuck, the pinkies are thick. He dropped another one. I hope you've got the Jewy here. Stay with him. Yeah, that's a Jewy, mate. That's a good Jewy. Wine on the way down. Now we'll see if you're a fisherman or not. We're going to find out. Oh, I just sand boat. Nah, it's a Jewy. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, good shot! Oh, hey! Yeah! <laughs> We're on the board! Oh, best free fishing charter I've ever been on! I love these free charters! Ah, oh, so stoked! Yeah, I'm getting them! Hey ya! Oh, <laughs> This one's not, this one's not as big, I don't reckon. Oh no! No! Mate. You got a jewy baited or we got, there's a fish. Yeah. I don't know who's more tired, him or me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Oh, I see colour. That's a shark. Oh. That's alright. That's a wobby. No, it's not. It's a green, green eye. eye. Yes! <laughs> Grab his tail. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, <man. laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna lose my shark. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? Hey? I've been claiming I was gonna catch a shark for about six months and Wooba the blanky boy <laughs> has got me straight onto one. Are we eating it or what? Yeah, yeah. fucking over it. I've never had one before, eh? Yeah, they're good chilling. <laughs> yeah. Righto. Dave's turned it on too. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. Yeah. What about the tennis? I'm happy. Yeah. I'm stoked. <laughs> good stuff. Oh yeah. Sweet. Alright. High five lads. Oh, oh, that. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll see you back in at shore. I'll see <laughs> yeah. you can deal with that. Would you wanna come have a look what he's got? Come on, Bubba. Come on, Evie. What's he got? Dad, what have you got? Nothing. Nothing. Is it shark? Oh, and the no, you got a green pedal bike. Look, buddy, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> what shark is right. it? <laughs> can you put it on this green table? Or like a yeah, can shark? we have it on their table? Oh, he wants oh. it on his table. Put it on your table, touch it first, cut it, feel it. Oh, it's like sparky one way, but soft the other way. That's yeah. why I'm on the table. Oh I put him on your water? table. They tell you to cut their tail off because otherwise it ruins the meat. They yeah. bleed out. We're gonna eat him for Christmas. Okay. Crazy shark. That's okay. a pretty good Christmas. <laughs> yep. Stop on, stop on, mom. I'm so Who's smelling him? That is so cool. It's taller than you, I reckon, Alice. It is like when you stand say... up, stand up straight. Okay. See if he's taller than you. Oh, he's pretty hot. No, you're taller. 
Whoa. Oh, if he had his tail on, oh, still just... I reckon he'd be taller. <laughs> that is exactly how you would draw a shark if you if you would say like if you would say to draw a shark. It's exactly how I would draw it. It's exactly a shark, hey. Mm. Oh my gosh. What's that? Oh. Thing? His teeth. You can see his teeth, Bubba? Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. whoa. What <laughs> the hell? Try me. These teeth, feel them, they're super sharp. Touch them. What does he even eat? They're tiny. No, I'm not going to touch them. Touch him? Man. Oh my god. So how long did it take you to reel this oh, one in? Three minutes. Oh wow, as compared to good, three hours. It was a good three minute fight. It was good. Wow. But the boys I went with were a super cool guy. Yeah. Super, super cool guys. Good fishermen too. Were you trying for that? Was that your target species? No, I was trying to catch a jewfish. Dad, can you do something to um, Elmo rock that for I'm fine. I caught a snapper as well. Face. He does have a face. There's his Why face. He's got two eyes. Because this and that's is his like you. nose type thing and his mouth's under there. Oh, I got to whack him. You want to whack him? Yes. You can whack him if you want. Oh. <laughs> Why are you going to whack him? You don't need to whack him. <laughs> I told him he could. His food, are you going to help me fill it in? Yeah, I am. I'm Are you going to help me cut him up? I feel like that's going to take no, a long time. No, I can have a knife. No, I'll fill it in, mate. Eh? We got shark and cray for, what's it called? Christmas. Christmas. We should get some squid too. Got it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> smile on his face. <laughs> 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 hey. All of it, Evie. We're having... Oh. Oh. In? Fin in the bag. This fin in the bag. This fin in the... These fins in the bag. Look. And what's that bit, Ellis? That's his poop pot. Poop pot. What do you think this is like? Oh. Look at that. I don't know if that's how you meant to cut it up. Quite frankly, I don't care. As long as it goes in the freezer. I reckon we're having shark and cray for yeah. Christmas. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, what right, about we'll pack up? Get ready to hitch up first thing in the morning. We're heading south. Oh yeah, see Nana and Papa. See Nana and Papa. Eat some shark. Eat some cray. And then uh, Evie's birthday's coming up. Christmas. Then Evie's well, birthday. Well, no, Wilder's birthday. Then Christmas. Then Monday. Yeah, there's so much. And I'm gonna be a teenager. Oh my god. Uh, Wilder's birthday. Then three days later, Christmas. Then like two weeks later, my two weeks birthday. later your birthday. Then like a couple weeks later, the, the new baby. And then the New I need more shark. And then a new caravan. I'm gonna need more shark. And more beers. I haven't had yeah. beers in so long. No, Tell I you what, beers with beer batter. I deserve a dad milk. Oh yeah, I'll make you one. Can I have dad milk please? Yeah. Yeah, we've got the ingredients for that. Here you go. That was with a smile. I don't even know if I made that. I gotta stir it. I gotta stir it with my shark finger. <laughs> it's so much cooler when you stir your dad milk with your shark finger. Yeah. There's other cool kids do it. Mm, sharky. <laughs> How much mm. this? Oh no, you're kind of fat. Righto, so here's the plan. We've got a what, six and a half hour punch tomorrow, south? Yeah, what are the plans? Well, we're going to Albany, so we're currently in a place north of Perth, about an hour and a half north of Perth. Yeah, but long story short, we're punching it south, we're meeting up with the in-laws. I'm gonna spit in her coffee again. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. What are you trying to coffee do? Coffee up! You're <laughs> <laughs> meant to do it first before you say coffee up. A spat so, yeah. in the mother-in-law's coffee, don't tell her. Yeah, Nana. No. I like two spits in mine. Who? I'm she, coming for you, remember Chris. Remember, she likes two spits. Two spits, that's right. She's a double shot kind of gal. It should taste. But yeah. Anyway, we're up bright and early. No more. Oh, I gotta go. Get my, I gotta go get my cray pot out in the morning. Oh yeah, more cray. Yeah. What do we currently got? Like twelve in the freezer. So another five or six would be nice. That'd be nice. And then we're stocked. 
we're stocked for the Christmas break while you mm. guys are all eating pudding. We're gonna be eating crayfish. Crayfish pudding. And shark. <laughs> and shark fish pudding. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I'll take you along in the morning. We'll pull the pot together. Basically, I'll be doing all the work. You'll be sitting on the couch. Get your mouth watering. Yeah. And um, then we'll come back home. We'll pack the caravan up and we'll uh, hit the legs. That's make, right. We make can't like make... our baby and head out. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> Good one. Good one. I right. have pregnancy brain. There are so many more of those ones that are really funny that I know, but I have pregnancy brain and they're gone. So hungry I could make... eat the ass out of a low-flying duck. <laughs> make like... Dad milk spilling on my truck. Yeah. What's another one? Go. I don't know. Well, I've got this one. Mm. What do you call a lady that sets fire to all your bills? It's a joke. And also, I'm sick of Bernadette. I've heard it so many times. <laughs> Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette. All right. All right, let's go. See you in the morning. It's cray time. Good news, everyone. It's blowing a gale, and I've got to get this pot out. It's literally the last day I'm able to pull this pot because we're literally driving six hours away. My pots are literally a kilometre. No, no. Oh god, this is gonna be fun. Hold on, we're gonna get wet. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna drown. Doesn't matter. Just unclip the boat. I'm gonna back around. Down here seems to be the safest spot. Even getting the boat in the water because I don't have a trailer is gonna be difficult. Silly boy, silly boy. I reckon while I'm pulling this pot up too, while I'm facing, the side of the boat's gonna be facing into the wind and dropping the side of the tinny. So there's gonna be water spilling over the edge. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. I've got to do what i got to do. If you guys have got seatbelts on the couch, put them on. Today I'm going to try and do something a little bit different because of the wind and because of the waves. I'm going to try and trim the motor up here and try and get it on the boat without the boat being in the water, which I've never done before and at any time I've tried to do that in the water, it's been rather difficult. Fun, fun. At this point, had I have known how gnarly these winds were, I would not have let Jackson take that boat out and we would have just sacrificed our pot and all the cray we were due to pull in. Righto, we're in the water. <laughs> She's rough as guts just in here inside the reef, so I can't wait to see what it's like outside the reef. This is slightly stressful. So it's currently 5.30, I slept in a bit. I want to be back by seven. I want to have the boat on top of the truck and back at camp by seven. That way we can get this six hour drive in today. We're gonna, I've got a bit of work cut out for me first. Just starting to bust outside the reef now and there's some big swell coming my way. Oh, I've got to get out of its way. The reef really peaks up to about two meters there, so the swell gets quite big. All right, let's get to this part. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm pretty nervous, actually. We're at the pots, and she's rough as guts. We're gonna have to be pretty careful. Yeah. 
It better be bloody crazy in here. This has been quite the effort. Not a single bloody cray. Ah. We can lick our wounds in closer to shore. I want to get out of this bloody swell. That. Oh, so much effort for zero reward. All my bait's gone too. What do you do? Anyway, hold on, coming back through this beef. Back through this reef, it's gonna get real bumpy. Absolutely zero waves. <laughs> oh, I'm very relieved. Very, very relieved. All right, let's get home. Let's get this boat on, on the roof. Let's get zero crayfish in the freezer. How devastating is that? If you watched, if you watched last week's episode, you would have seen people six crayfish from exactly the same spot. Ah! That was very stressful. It's currently 6.32. I've got half hour to pack up, get this boat on the roof and get back to camp. Still trying to come to terms with the zero crayfish. It's all right. I think we've got a total of 10 in the freezer. It'll be enough for Christmas lunch. Look at me being so spoiled. <laughs> it would have been nice to get a couple more before we left. I ended up, well, it's 7.20 and I ended up speaking to a whole bunch of locals down at the down at the beach about all the good fishing spots that I should have known about a week ago. But oh well. What's going on in here? Um, nothing. <laughs> right, we're going to pull up here. We're watching the cart rides. We're watching the part where I'm grumpy and pregnant. Yeah, I'm so. Now, we're going to go, we're going to... That's always. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Were you too scared to say it? Yes. The kids <laughs> laugh watching themselves on the on the TV, so let me hold it. By this point, I already know the episode off by heart from editing it. But, um, oh, he's filming you. Give that back. But they, but they haven't seen it yet. Did I show it to you, Evie, when it was doing bits and pieces? We watch ourselves every Sunday morning because we're losers. <laughs> but it's exciting what we we feel like we're like. I don't know, how do you explain that? We're proud of whatever we do. So yeah. and we like to watch it. And the kids really love it. I think no. they like they it brings back their memories of it, of the times that we've had there. Cool. I'll tell you what, you can come outside and watch the cart rights while I wash the truck and wash the boat and how do I watch it outside? Well, you can watch me oh. wash the boat. In I'm, real time? Yeah, in real time. This is a bit like Inception. All right, well, finish watching this, but we got to get on the road, so.